Heroes, welcome to Suit Up Week 6. Have you seen Super A lately? I haven't found her yet. I'm sure she's trying to find more elements of this great armor of God. But we have so much to do today, right? We need to worship and to sing and to dance and to listen to a great Bible story. So, suit up, get ready superheroes for today's worship time. Got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Ayo, ayo. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. Ayo, ayo. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Ayo, ayo. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Ayo, ayo. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. We can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. I put on. Wearing a helmet is so uncomfortable. It itches your head and messes up your hair. But it's actually very important because it protects your head and can save you from getting really hurt. God knew there would be times when we might doubt His love for us or that He will forgive us when we disobey. To protect our minds from being tempted to question His love, we can suit up with the helmet of salvation. One day, Jesus was visiting a town in Israel called Cana. There was a royal official there, but his son was sick in bed all the way in Capernaum, which was almost eight hours away. The official heard that Jesus was in Cana, so he went to Jesus and begged him to heal his son because the boy was close to death. Jesus told the official he could go back home because his son was going to live. As the official left Jesus, he could have doubted if Jesus had really saved his son from dying. But instead, he believed what Jesus said and that Jesus loved him and his boy. As he was walking home, some men who worked for him ran out to meet him on the road with some very good news. His son was alive and doing well. The official found out that it all happened at one in the afternoon, the exact minute when Jesus said his son would live. Just like the official believed that Jesus could save his son, we can believe that Jesus will save us too. We are saved when we decide to follow him and believe he is God's son. Salvation means that we no longer receive the punishment we deserve for the wrong things we do, and we have the promise of being in heaven with Jesus one day. Whenever you are having doubts about God's love for you, or you think He couldn't do a miracle in your life, suit up with the helmet of salvation. Believing His love is real helps us take a stand against anything that comes our way. Can you imagine being really sick and needing a miracle? This man was looking for a miracle for his son. He came to Jesus, and Jesus said, Your son has been saved. Salvation is a very important part of this great armor. But you, sometimes we are having doubts and our minds are full of thoughts that are not really helpful for, our, for, for ourselves. So let me tell you something. The next element that we are going to learn has to be everything with our minds. 
So I need you to save something in your super minds and in your super hearts. Ready? Repeat after me. Suit up. With the helmet of salvation. Great job, superheroes. I think we are ready to memorize our Bible verse. I need you to pick your favorite superhero pose. This is mine. Okay, let's do it together. Put on all God's armor. Then you can remain strong against the e devil evil plans. Ephesians 6, 11. Great job, superheroes. You are doing amazing. See you next week. Bye.